This might be weird. This virtual K-pop idol just won the first place. Overtaking the Serapim and PB. Hi, I'm Gina, your soul sister. I talk about Korean culture and today let's talk about this. This K-pop boy band group named Plave won the first place with this song, Way For Love. What's weird is that they're all virtual. Like each character has names and different personalities. You might be wondering, are these real people? The answer is yes, they are real. They do have names, birthdays, and all that. We just don't know who they are. They debuted a year ago. They've never shown their face, never shared anything personal or private to the public. This is all strategic. Looks like the company just chooses not to share the artist's face, actual names, and all the details. What's interesting is they're doing everything that other K-pop idols are doing. It's just all virtual. Just watch this. <sighs> They even have their own YouTube channel, just hanging out and fans go and interact in the comments and it's really interesting. And even in Korea, everybody is talking about this group because they don't know who they are and they just won the first place. Like this is a big deal. On top of that, we don't know how much of investment they're putting into in terms of vocal trainings, dance, providing these VR forms. Could this be a future? What do you think? Is this weird or not so weird? It's weird, not so weird Korean thing. You should know. Kata! They also do challenges with other K-pop idols. Like what? Let's talk about Shinbijui. In Korean entertainment industry, there is such thing as called Shinbijui. Hi, I'm Gina, your soul sister. I'm gonna explain what Shinbijui is in Korean culture. In contact of your public image, you're not really appearing yourself to public. Basically being mysterious, evoking people's interest in you. For example, a lot of K-pop idols approach Shinbijui image, especially when they debut. How these actors and K-pop idols achieve Shinbijui image is simply not showing up by not revealing too much of themselves. Song Yegyo is a great example of holding Shinbijui image. Although we do know about her divorce, people still don't really know about her because she has that Shinbijui image. Just like Hollywood, especially A-list celebrities like being mysterious. GD is the top of top Shinbijui master. People are always wondering what he's up to, but he doesn't really say much. All the Blackpink members held that Shinbijui image. After their contract ended with YG, they're taking a different approach. Especially Jenny, she's joining variety shows to showcase her personality more to the public. Jenny's in her relatable era. Being mysterious worked really well in the past. Now that generation's changing, the audience prefer relatable and approachable image. Most of these celebrities, if they decide to go to Shinbijui, the mysterious route, they just release their big projects with their work. Very similar to Kendrick Lamar. And what do you think? Is this concept weird or not so weird? Let me know in the comments. Weird, not so weird Korean thing. You should know. Kaja! Let's get ready while I talk about how I started talking about Korea online. I was born and raised in Korea. I moved to the States when I was 13. And no, I did not speak English when I first moved here. My first year in the States, I lived in Junction City, Oregon. Very small city in Oregon. My school was so small and there was no Asians. And I had to learn English and everything was foreign. I didn't know how to say McDonald's. I said it Korean way. McDonald's. And that's how I learned English. I still remember my middle school friends, my very first friends. One of them is like a famous YouTuber now, Jessica. She's a beauty creator now. And Jordan. Those two were my best friends my first year in America. Because I lived in small city, a lot of my Korean things were weird to my friends, to my white friends to be specific. Even in high school, a lot of my Korean background and heritage or things that I did was considered weird. I refused to buy new brush sets. 
For the longest time, I could not go to Korea. During those years, I was homesick. Although I made a lot of friends in the States, I always missed home. And I missed being indifferent. I missed Korea a long, long time. My sister and I would always watch Korean TV, Korean drama, variety show. I always loved talking about Korea. Even before the Korean wave hit the market in the US, I always loved talking about Korea, telling about Korea, being Korean, and I just loved it because I missed it. I missed everything about it. I missed eating Korean food, interacting with Korean people. I spent a lot of time online looking at K-pop idols, Korean news, every single day for the past 17 years. Korea always have been my biggest interest. Always missed home. Then COVID happened in 2020. I started TikTok and started talking about my Korean culture on the internet. And ever since, I still love my culture and I love helping people out. And I genuinely enjoy connecting with people and helping people out, sharing weird but not so weird Korean cultures. It's something that I am very passionate about. By the way, these are the lashes I'm using. Finally got to go back to Korea for the first time in 16 years. When I went back, I realized I became very Americanized. Kind of crazy because I always thought I am Korean. Don't get me wrong, I am Korean still. A lot of my mannerism, the way I think, the way I act is very Americanized, which is kind of crazy because I've always been that fop Korean friend in the States. And in Korea, I am the American friend. A lot of immigrants' children experience identity crisis, meaning like they don't feel like they belong to American culture nor their own culture like in Asia. And I didn't get to experience that until recently. After going to Seoul a couple of times, being the majority actually feels amazing. My soul high is still so high and I love, love, love my country. And I still love talking about Korea and sharing about my local tips and tricks from Americanized Korean perspective. And that's how I started talking about Korea online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.